안녕 친구. <laughs> Today we are at Mangwon Market. It's my first time here. How about you? Yeah. Yes. Fine. We're not sure exactly what's in store, but I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some street food. We took exit two from Mangwon Station and turned right onto World Cup 13th Street. Oh man! Oh, check out this cart. This one is well cooked soybean. Smash it and make this foam and dry it. These blocks of fermented soybeans are called neju. And they're used to make doenjang and gochujang. 옛날에는 한국 엄마들은 매년 이거를 만들었어. 할머니도 만들었어. It smells very strong. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm like two feet away from it, and ooh, it's just radiating fragrance. Yeah, it smells a bit pungent. Mm -hmm. But it is a healthy food. No preservatives. You know what else is healthy? Steam over there. <laughs> We have gogi wang mandu, kimchi wang mandu, tong mandu, and chinpang. <laughs> oh man, the steam action is no joke. It's making me drool and my mouth is going to leak an ocean. I feel like I'm watching clouds in time lapse mode. The kimchi we expect is going to be a little spicy, so let's start off with the gogi mandu. The meat dumpling contains scallion, cabbage, noodles, and of course, protein. Mamiyo is getting a steam facial. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> I can barely see you. <laughs> Bye, Mina! That's a very satisfying filling. Mm -hmm. It is savory, it is meaty. Up next is kimchi mandu. Kimchi dumpling. This might be a little spicy. The filling looks similar as the gogi mandu, but more red. Spicy. You will like it. You will love it. How spicy is it? Almost five out of five for me. I think like... everything is five out of five for you, Louis. <laughs> it took a while for that spiciness to hit you. I think I spit something onto my jacket and it just got stuck. Oh, now I'm feeling it. Now, it's a slow riser. Oh, now I'm really feeling it. As we film this, it is winter, it is pretty chilly, but in the mouth, it is summer. It's pretty spicy, but I'm gonna say three and a half for the spice out of five. Because if it's five out of five, that means I can't hear. Okay, teacher dumpling. I like the smell. <gasps> Into the it's so soft. Okay, the bottom is wet and it's not very pleasant, but the top is a little bit more dry and it's very soft. It feels like a pillow. Stunned. Mwah. Inside the chinpang is pat, red bean paste. Mamiyo says the skin smells lightly of makgeolli. When you have chinpang, the first bite is the most bland. When you get to the middle, it gets more tasty. So let's have another bite. Oh man, the inside was hot in that, so the spiciness from the dumpling resurrected. I feel like it's not too sweet, the filling. Oh! <laughs> we have street food and also street shopping. This stall is selling all sorts of Korean crackers. Oh, <laughs> Sesame snack. You could definitely see some sesame on that. Wow, mashita. Sweet like a twenty percent. The next cracker we try is made of parayonmi, germinated brown rice. It's mostly crunchy, but there is a slight moisture to it. Can you show us what you got? Sesame snack, five thousand dollars. Little did I know that Mamiyo was such a baller. One. <laughs> 5,001, yes. <laughs> Mamiyo also bought five yakwa for 2001. Yakwa are traditional Korean confections that are deep fried and soaked in honey. Here we have a mini stall selling dried persimmon. More fresh produce. That scallion looks a bit tired. <laughs> These oranges always crack me up. Look how they just pop out on the top. Okay, this whole time we thought we were at the Mangwon market, but there's an actual like place for it. I thought it was just like a pop-up. What's the action going on in here? A baby. Oh, 
The vendor brushes on sauce. Mmm, edible paint. I'm told that the takangjang here is quite delicious. That is one of the most popular things to eat on this street, so we're on the hunt for that. Do you think we eat that much chili in one lifetime? Oh, here we have samples of jelly, acorn jelly. But it's not dessert jelly, it is a side dish jelly. You know what? It's so cold, they didn't refrigerate the yogurt. It's just out here. And we have a skincare shop, face shop. This is where I buy all my lotion and toners. being made so what a joy it's like he's conditioning hair well in a matter of minutes this place got full when you go to Korean restaurants they love to advertise the fact that they're on TV wow wow for 3,000 won look at this big bowl on the top they put on seaweed as well as sesame seeds and scallion First, let's try the soup. It tastes a little bland. Alright, we're gonna put a little bit of tabagi in that. This stuff is pretty potent, so just put a little bit at a time. I can't see. If there's one word I had to use to describe this, clean. Guilt free. We have Kuobang sold at a flower shop. What a combo. The name of this shop is Mashinden Jeep. Delicious house. You know, the joy of traveling with your parents is you learn something new on the way. Like, it brings back certain memories from them and then they pass it on to you. Next door, we have a panchan shop. They sell all sorts of Korean side dishes. Oftentimes, when you buy hot dog, the vendor will fold it in half and slide it into a cup. This must be the famous Takangjong shop. Check out this line, there must be like a good 20 people. Called Hongomuchim in Korean, these are raw skate fish, seasoned and wrapped in leaves. This is the perilla leaf, and the stem is a little bit hairy. It comes in a cute little cup, fits in my palm. Very sweet, kind of like melted candy. There's some spiciness to it, but it's sweeter than spicy. The texture, it's something very really rugged. Man, that homo, no matter how much you chew some parts of it, it just doesn't break down. Bro, you asked for it, you're in my vid. Fire breathing dragon. The sweetness dies off. The spicy lingers. Alright, the flames calm down. The makuli is a great fire extinguisher. You know, if you hear all the sounds, like people are yelling, they're trying to attract your attention. As the vendor continues to shout, he carefully arranges the mandarins into a pyramid and takes time to peel off the little bits. It's another soul that sells takangjong. Wow, how many flavors is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this here is rice cake. Holy moly, how long is this street? Wow. So the vendor here has told me this is the original hot dog. So I think we're gonna have to try it. Over here, all other hot dogs, it's deep fried. But over here, it's just, you know, it, it is like pan fried. This is chaman, for one. And green tea hot dog. Yeah, it's green tea. Oh, I went to Namdaemun to buy flowers today. 
And over there, I tried two kinds of hot dog. This one third for me today. This is the best. Let's try the best hot dog. Ooh, before I even took a full bite of that, I smelled the nuttiness from it. Oh wow, it's very chewy. Oh, I see a little black sesame hanging out. What is he doing there? He should be inside. He's on vacation. Is that leaf in there, I see? <laughs> we soon cross paths with the vehicular road. However, the market continues on the other side. About 10 years ago, maybe even more, when I came to Korea, I bought a toilet sign and I put it on my closet door. I think we finally made it to the end of this market. These rice cakes contain makgeolli. Called bori sultok, this batch is steamed and prepared in the traditional style. It's Saturday night, so mommy oh gonna get crunked up. You got money, mother man, cheer up. Ah yeah. How much money did you get? Oh my god, I've never had it. And I love makgeolli. <laughs> it's a lucky day. The cracks. They remind me of the desert. Whoa! It's very moist in the inside. Mm hmm. Mm. What is under that wrapping? <gasps> that looks so beautiful! Oh my, I think I'm gonna have to try that. So much substance. Oof, love. We have chestnut, peas, steamed squash, dried squash, and at first glance, these look like red beans. But the vendor said she used hedge beans. So the vendor just told us this one tastes better when it's warm. When it's cold outside, but it's okay. We'll give it a shot anyways. This one is a little chewy. Oh, definitely chewy. The first one we had tasted like um, youth, like an easy youth. This one, it's a little bit more rugged, it's got more texture. With that said, I prefer this second one we just tried. Hey, why'd you pack it already? I want another bite. There's some resistance when you pull away. We finally made it to the end. U turn. There's one thing we didn't eat yet. It's a takangjong. But there is a queue at both of the stalls. Alright, we're gonna break this line. Who knows how long it's gonna take? It is 6:48. They also sell takdongjit, chicken gizzards. The literal translation being chicken poop house. They're seen as a delicacy in some cultures. Four minutes later, we are next in line. Hmm, the wait was not as long as I had predicted. Half five. We're gonna get the spicy one and the cheese one. This is 3001. I like it. Because you like duck. <laughs> if it's duck, you'll like it, default. Oh, wow. The outside is hard. A little spicy. Mommy O, I offer to you the first bite of the cheesy fried chicken. Verdict. Conclusion. Does it taste cheesy? Not cheesy. Why is it not cheesy? It's like a sauce. Oh, it's not real cheese. I see what you mean. It's not very cheesy. It's saucy. I prefer the inside than the exterior. This time we're gonna try the bacon takangjang. Certainly not as sweet as the kue wrap we had earlier today. Actually, I like the second one. Yeah. Because Mekum uh, Takangjang is French outside. This little outlet leads to residences. What is your favorite thing you ate today? You know, good things come in three. <laughs> so, number one kalguks, nokcha hot dog. Oh, yes! Tea hot dog, bali makgeolli hot dog. <laughs> right? I would say those are my top three as well. Actually, my top three for today are nokcha hot dog, hobak dog, kalguksu. If you prefer stronger and sweeter flavors, you'll likely enjoy the takangjong. The one that made me the most emotional was the hongo wrap. 
Oh, yeah. It was so sweet oh, no. and spicy. Yeah, it was like super spicy. sweet and then it got super spicy. We're gonna head back to our accommodation. <laughs> Originally, we we're gonna go to Dongdaemun and have street food there and film another video, but we're pretty full right now. So we're gonna call it a day. We'll see you guys in the next travel video. Annyeong! Annyeong! Craving for more travel videos? Be sure to check out my other channel, Miss Mina O. Oh. We explore countries outside of Korea. From Singapore to Japan to Indonesia, and plans for other continents are in the works. <laughs>